Thursday Night Worship, 9, 15, 22, 7 p.m. Lebanon, Connecticut. Welcome. The service will begin soon. Join us. So we will do the prelude, my intro, and then we will get started on a rare Thursday night edition of worship. Prelude today is the table, tonight is the table of peace. Thank you very much, Claudia. That was very pretty. And yes, this is a time for peace in this service. So here are your announcements for tonight. The next train trip will be 10, 7, and 9. It will be Vermont for a weekend. Uh, plane spotting coming soon. El Paso trip plan has begun. So that will be obviously locked out in mid-October. And so far, so good through the first three weeks of the semester, both work-wise work -wise and academically. Anything else? Yes, I will be talking about how New Rochelle went in the message. And let me tell you right now, it wasn't that great. It wasn't that great at all. Yes, I cannot forget. Just a reminder, Advent services just looking ahead will be presented at home. So 
We will do worship on the road, but probably either in work or in El Paso in my hotel room. Anything else? The Love and Antique Show is next weekend, as well as the Harvest Fair at the Baptist Church as well. So if there are no other announcements, receive the call to worship. We look upon our world, our neighborhoods, our families, and see suffering and want. How long, O oh Lord? We see deep suffering, brutal violence, destroyed homes, and ravaged nations. How long, O oh Lord? Let your compassion come quickly to meet us, for we are brought low. How long, O oh Lord? Help us, O oh God of our salvation. Our salvation. Help us, O oh source of our hope. And will you please rise and sing with me, number 50 sets, to God be the glory. Courtesy of our friends at the Common Ground Church. Number 56. To God be the glory. Number 56. Great things he has done, so loved he the world that he gave us his son, who yielded his life and atonement for sin, and only through light he No rejoice, O oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he has done. Who for your fit redemption, the purchase of blood to every redeemer, the promise of God. Let the people rejoice. Who father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he has done. Thanks he has sought us, great things he has done, and great our rejoicing the Jesus the Son, God purer and higher and greater will be our wonder, our transport when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people Rejoice, O oh, come to the Father, O oh, Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he has done. Let's pray. Lord, tonight we come before you in a time of hurt and weep. God of grief, you see our hurt and weep. Oh, that my head were a spring of water, 
and my eyes a fountain of tears. Sometimes we share your grief and we despair. Sometimes we are so used to the way things are that we scarcely notice. But one day, one night, one evening, maybe this evening, your pain, our pain, our world's pain is. And we call out to you. Is there a bomb in Gilead? Is there healing? Tonight we wait for your answer. You who weep for us and with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, I lift your name on high. 107. Again, from the same folks at the common ground. Lord, I lift your name on high, your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my debt to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. I'll just sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my debt to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Okay, very good. Please be seated. And our anthem tonight is The Journey of Faith.
All right. Yes, it's the journey of faith. So we come to the place of prayer tonight. It's a time where we can lift each other up. It's a time where in that, as in the prelude, it's a time where he can bring peace to our lives in so many ways. Of course, we want to continue to think about, you know, is it worth it to go to El Paso? Is it worth it? And what our needs are. And is finding a new relationship now a good idea? Maybe it's not. There's still a lot of hurt. And a lot of, it's still a lot of unanswered questions. Both from our traumatic experiences, but even just recently. And as always, I will give you opportunity to lift up those that you know. And our first song tonight is 2108. Oh, how he loves you and me. Lord, tonight we come before you in this time of hurt. A time where we weep and we cry. Cry out to you, but also we cry out to the people that We want to set it right with. Over the, over the last year, we have wanted to set it right with Charlie. But we know that that would be a long shot. And in the event that he does come back and apologize, would it be worth to try it again? Would it be worth That frustration and the idea of, of him being a narcissist is that good for our mental health? Well, the heart wants him, but mentally, I don't think that would be a good idea at all. Just like we question ourselves whether or not going to a new place in January is that a good idea too? So many questions to be to be answered, but as usual, those questions cannot be answered here. They can only be answered by the people that created this for that created this for us. Why is it when we go to West Haven, we cry even now? Why couldn't we get more hours? And why can't we have a new Boston now? Tonight we, we are at a low point again. 
with this with this hurt. Not just from relationships, but also just in general. We know who we are and we know what we have to do. We think it's great that we're off to a good start this semester. And for the viewers at home, we pause and give you the chance to lift up those that you know. And so it's to this end. Your table is a symbol of peace. And it's a symbol for so many people. So in this prayer tonight, we ask for peace in our hearts and minds. And we continue to pray that one day a new Wilbur will be had. And we'll be sitting right here on this couch. And we thank you for the blessings in our lives and everybody else that that I work with. And we know better days are ahead. So in this so it's in that prayer you taught us saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves you and me. Jesus to Calvary did go, did go. His love for sinners to show. What he did there brought hope from despair. Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves you and me. All right. 
So it's that time again. It's the operatory time. And I invite you to please subscribe to this channel and continue watching those other videos that I've been posting. I just posted the first three traffic cases of L.I. Noir. So if you guys are looking for a walkthrough, I know there are many other videos out there. But I have put time slots of each one of them. So as always, please subscribe to this channel. And when the ushers, please come forward as we receive the evening's gifts and offering. So God of the City by Chris Thomas.
Okay. So the reading tonight comes from Second Corinthians 6, 1 to 16. And we're going to finish up our series on narcissism. So this section is all about staying at our post. And it will lead into the message tonight of being the change. Companions as we are in this work with you, we beg you, please don't squander one bit of this marvelous, marvelous life God has given us. God reminds us, I heard your call in the nick of time. The day you needed me, I was there to help. Well, now is the right time to listen. The day to be helped. Don't put it off. Don't frustrate God's work by showing up late. Throw in a question mark over everything we're doing. Our work as God's servants get, gets validated or not in the details. People are watching us as we stay at our post, alertly, unswervingly, in hard times, tough times, bad times, when we're being up, jailed, and mobbed. Working hard, late, without eating, with pure heart, clear head steady hand in gentleness holiness and honest love when we're telling the truth and when god's showing his power when we're doing our best setting things right when we're praised blamed slandered and honored true to our word through distrusted ignored by the world but recognized by god terrifically alive through rumored to be dead be it within an inch of our lives, but refusing to die. Immersed in tears, yet always filled with deep joy. Living on handouts, yet enriching many, having nothing, having it all. Dear, dear Corinthians, I can't tell you how much I long for you to enter this wide open, spacious life. We didn't fence you in. The smallness you feel comes from within you. Your lives aren't small. But you're living them in a small way. I'm speaking plainly as I can and with great affection. Open up your eyes, excuse me, open up your lives, live openly and expansively. Oops. Don't become partners with those who reject God. How can you make partnership out of right and wrong? That's not partnership. That's war. Is light best friends with dark? Does Christ go strolling with the devil? Do trust and mistrust hold hands? Who would think of setting up pagan idols in God's holy temple? But that is exactly what we are. Each of us a temple in whom God lives. God himself put it this way. I live in them, move into them. I'll be their God and they'll be my people. So leave the corruption and compromise. Leave it for good, says God. Don't link up with those who pollute you. I want you all for myself. I'll be a father to you. You'll be sons and daughters to me. The word of the master, God. Here is the reading, and may God have the blessings of the reading of these holy words. So you may have noticed that we don't have a Dissology or Gloria Patri tonight because it wasn't working. So. Let's talk about being the change. Over these last few weeks, we've been looking at this idea of narcissism and how it relates to relationship and how we can sort of understand the fact of our part in that relationship when we are with a narcissist. Specifically, let's look at the situation with Charlie. I know you're probably thinking, thinking, well, can you just let it go? No. I was talking with Pastor Tom earlier today, and I think he hit the nail on the head. My gut feeling is that on 10 1 
of this year, he might come back and apologize. But the question is, do we want that kind of relationship again? Do we have the guts to tell him it's too late? Do we have it within ourselves to do what we have to do and what we think is right? That's what he's talking about here. In dark times like, like that, we have to think. And we have to think before doing something. And we just have to just look at the bigger picture around this. We have to think and be like, okay, if I was to go this route again, what would it be like? Would there be a, would there be anything different? Now, not to be a devil's advocate, but I honestly think things probably would not be different. Because obviously, if he had wanted to, he probably would have reached out by now and actually said, let's work things out. But no. No. Because a narcissist does not think that way. They're more concerned. with themselves in their own situation versus having the compassion and the understanding of, you know, you made this situation and now you have to go correct it. Because let me remind you guys, none of this was my fault. None of this at all. This was something that, that he created. Is because he didn't have the balls to just be accountable for what he does. He doesn't. He does not have that capability as a 30 something year old man. He, he just doesn't. He has lived a life where he's had everything handed to him. And because of this, every time you think you're, every time I thought things, things were going right, they just went south. And it's because of this whole idea that he wanted to change me. He wanted me to be like him. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I'm not going to go get medical marijuana, number one. Number two, I was not an alcoholic, nor do I really even drink alcohol. Maybe have a beer with, with dad every now and then. Third, I didn't, I didn't make him move to Delaware. That was his choice. Because it was a typical... Friday, it was going to be a typical Friday afternoon. Go down there and have a good time with him and then come back and do it all over again. But no, no, he didn't want it that way anymore. He wanted to just run, take the cowardly way out. Because think about it, this is what narcissists do. They don't. 
listen to what you have to say, and they don't compromise with you. Because at that time, I said to them, look, why don't, you, why don't I come down there and we can talk about this? Talk about things face to face. All of those types of conversations really need to be had in person. You can't have them over the phone. And you can't have them over text. You can't. But the reality is this, guys. If we want to be the change, then we have to understand where we are mentally. And this is where we are at with Eduardo as well. Is it worth going down there? It might be nice, but is it worth it? Is it worth going down there for three days, 2,000 miles away from home? Maybe it's not. Maybe it isn't. Because of how the relationship is being defined. It would be nice to go somewhere. Yes, of course. But it has to be the right place. And it has to be a place where we feel safe. Speaking of safety, let me tell, tell you about my not-so-pleasant trip to New Rochelle on Saturday. It's past Saturday. So I decided to go down there just, you know, just something to do. I was looking for something for mom for her birthday, which was this past Tuesday. And it was another, it was another bummer. The only thing good was Texas Roadhouse. Everything else was bad. I felt unsafe. You know, crossing the street, almost getting run over, number one. Number two, there was just a lot of sketchy, it really felt like it was a, there was a lot of sketchy people around these neighborhoods that I was walking through. And that's when I realized that it was time to come home. Now, doing something like that is easily fixable because, you know, just jump on Metro North, go to New Haven, Shore on East Old Saver, boom, done. 35 minutes, you're home. But this would be different. It would be different in the fact that you're, that basically, you're going, I'm going down there for three days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Maybe go down there for two. Maybe go down there for one or two. And make this as safe as possible. I don't mind giving Southwest my business. And I don't mind giving TF3 my business. But... It has to be the right place, and it has to be somewhere that can easily be able to come home if, thing, if something goes wrong. I'm sure you guys may have felt the same way. Maybe you've gone on a trip where it's not all that it seems, where it's kind of a bummer. We've all had those bummer trips. In fact, I had one last summer going to Virginia and ended up having to come home, you know, not too long after getting there. So the thing here is this. If, to be the change, we have to think and actually if people want to work things out with us, they can reach out to us. You don't have to go hunting people down. You're not here for, we're not here for that. 
But what I'm saying is, be the change. Go do something that you want to do. That is why we are here. And that is tonight's message. Amen. Closing him tonight is Go My Children. In my blast. And the power fills you, hear his tender comfort stills you. Go, my children, with my blessing, oh, and free. I, the Lord, will bless and keep you and give you peace. I, the Lord, will smile upon you. Okay. Receive the benediction. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he help you understand to be the change in whatever life throws at you. In Jesus' name, amen.